Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil HD fucking remaster blind. I fucking hate this capture card. It's a new day. Let's try to fucking get through this shit. We started Chris's scenario, I failed. And so I'm playing through it again. I did this off screen got to this point where I pick up a book and shit, you know, that old jazz story. I'll probably need to take the freaking green herbs because you know Chris sucks. I also hear that Chris apparently has more stamina than Jill, but honestly I ain't seen it. I got hit once and I'm already in the yellow. Blah de blah 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 blah. I've got a different strategy this time though. Strategy is don't go the zombie hallway and instead go the other horrid way. Can you guess what way I'm thinking of going? I'll give you a hint. It starts with H. Run. Oh, fuck! Fuck you! You wasted my only freaking defense item. I fucking hate you. Jackass. I hate these motherfucking zombies. I also heard that the uh, options for the controls, I think if you set them to the alternative one, I think they might get rid of the fixed camera angles. I'm not sure. I just remember reading something about that earlier. There's like, you don't say, but I'm not going to do that. We're doing this the authentic route. The tank, shitty way of doing things. Or have I had it on the alternative this whole time? Nope, I've had it on the original this whole time. We got the shitty end of the stick here. This way would technically be quicker to get to the room. But that means going through Hellhound Corridor. And I don't like Hellhound Corridor as we've established before. I didn't even bother going over there to pick up the yellow dagger because it's a waste of bloody time. It's fucking nothing chances. Hellhound Corridor! First things first, actually, they didn't even break in yet. That's a good thing. Chris, you can move this, you know. Chris, maybe it's the other way you gotta move it from. God damn it, Chris! Jill did this all the bloody time! Why don't you move this shit? Maybe that's one that can't be moved. Nothing here but a bunch of ornamental plates. Maybe it's the one down here. Uh, Chris? Chris, you suck at moving things, no offense. Maybe this one. Nice. Get to move from the other way. Don't you dare blast in just yet, you m bastard dogs. I'm here for the ammo. Because I'm gonna need it. Are they only triggered if you go from this way then, or what? So I'm fine with that, if that's the case. So no old-fashioned luck, that's rather simple in mechanism. Mm, 
Does make me wonder how he's gonna get around. He doesn't have the lockpick. Picture the mansion against the setting sun. In darkness and now in the sun. Ah, yes, this room. I wonder how he'll react to Mr. Zombie. Also, did I mention in the previous part, but I'm pretty sure I was playing on easy mode on the Jill playthrough. Which really says something there, doesn't it? If that was easy mode, then clearly on the mountain setting thing, it was clearly climbing the mountain was the equivalent of normal mode. Which I'm playing now. So that's insane, man. Just look like it's been serviced in a while. Jesus Christ, look at that frickin' knife he's got. I was taking a bath. And you had to unplug it. I'll pass. Chris, you are no Jill, that's for sure. Jill, she stomped that motherfucker. You, on the other hand, you're like, no. I won't stomp him. I'm not going to sink to such a low level. Oh. An old key. That's different. Well, he can have the bathroom all to himself now, because I won't be using it any more than that. I wonder, actually, that old key is probably for this. Might be able to unlock it using an old key. How strange. Those hellhounds better not be able to jump the gate just yet. Yeah, I don't even see any point in coming out here. Well, actually, I do, actually. Need to pick up that some point. Was there kerosene out here? I remember there being kerosene out here. Yeah, there is. Bloody kerosene left. Ah, oh, I don't have the thing yet, though, do I? Shit. I wonder if I could pick up all this in one go, because they're gonna jump the fence after all this. They're gonna be very hungry. No, not that. Pick up the. Pick up this. They're gonna be very, very hungry rabbit doggies, and I don't like very hungry rabbit doggies. I mean, hungry doggies, regardless, can be pretty aggressive. If you ever given a dog something to eat, and you so much as try to move the plate, they're like. Rrr. So with shit like that, you can see why some people have a fear of dogs and shit. Ah, oh, I've done with my bath. I would like to. Where am I? I'm still drunk. Drunk on bath water. This way is a lot better than the other way, that's for sure. This way leads to the shotgun, but it's the broken shotgun, so it's useless for now. Actually... Memory serves. There was also a dagger there, and maybe some engravings, so I'll pick those. Because I can at least do that much. Also, this room is apparently where, like, if you were playing as Jill and you waited around and didn't get th any extra cutscenes with Barry, then he would pop up the saver at the last second and you'd get the shotgun right there. Which I didn't know at the time, obviously, and apparently I think that's where the, uh, you were almost a Jill sandwich thing probably originated from. It's just burnt here. I wonder what was burnt here, though.
Not that I'd be able to do anything with it right now. So, ah, uh, wait. This room leads out into, ah yeah, this is the way that I was going for. Is that door all the way at the end of the hallway locked? I can't remember if it was, yeah, it's locked. It clearly indicates it's locked, but I forget what key you need for it. Right. It's time to deal with the three dicks of the zombie. Bill. Spencer. Mansion. God! Damn you! Chris! You suck! I hear that you're better at in combat, but you suck. It was all a lie. Coming out here, I'm gonna burn your ass, you motherfucker. Tired of these motherfucking zombies everywhere, you know? You know what I'm saying? What's this on the floor? Special instruction for the disposition of dead bodies. We have no information regarding these beings. They may appear to be dead, but the fact that they are able to come back to life, however, they are obvious to. Bend them for beginning action again. But there are two known consideration distraction the heads and fair amount of covered amount of time. You might have a place and off out of it there. So have to be fine by there. Store this for now. Can't carry it down. <laughs> yeah, I know you can't carry. I'm trying to get the typewriter behind it. You're not gonna let me do that, are you? God damn, Chris, your inventory sucks. Oh yeah, this. Don't need this. Because I suck at combat, then I would totally suck even more at that, you know. Make the first save of the game. So that I don't have to redo pretty much everything just to get to this point. Yes. This playthrough is gonna suck more than the Jill one, isn't it? Right, let's get down to business. It's marshmallow time, motherfucking zombies. You probably got up though by this point. Nope, he's still on the ground. Okay, that's good. You just stay right there, sir. Enjoy your, uh, incineration. I'm a zombie, can't you tell by my mouth? Quick, he's down! When he's down! Burn the bastard! God damn it, you have to be in a real pixel perfect spot. It sucks. 
God damn it, Chris! Burn the bloody thing! Of course he's not done, of course he's not. The mummy. Oh, God damn it, Chris, for fuck's sake! Use the bastard thing! Back her up! Fuck! Chris, don't you see what you've done? You wasted your fucking time! Shoot him! Shoot him! Run! Oh, I fucking hit stupid combat. It's the worst. Now I need more fucking kerosene, how about that? Using kerosene a lot here. I barely used it on the Jill playthrough because there weren't nearly as many fucking zombies, you know. But that bastard's gonna keep getting in my way. So I need to take him down. I mean, fair enough when I get like a shotgun and shit like that, so I can handle that. But without it, I'm kind of in a bit of a pickle, you know? Can't even pick anything up while carrying this shit. Oh yeah, I didn't pick up the, uh... Uh... Wooden planks, so I can't even really use it in here, can I? There's only a green herb in here anyway, that's shit, man. It's pure shit. Here we go again. Run! Retreat! Chris, you have the most inconvenient time to freaking do anything, really. He's trying to puke on me! What an asshole! Oh! Head exploded! Don't need the kerosene, then. That's the thing, I read, looked up about that as well. Headshots are apparently just random. Like, it's easier to do with a shotgun and shit like that, which is kind of understandable. With a handgun, it's kind of finicky, very much so. Don't know about the leg shots, though. Open the bloody door, Chris. There's a door, Chris. You kidding me? There's no knob from the get-go. Knobless door. God damn it, Chris! You have got the worst gun in the world! It is pure shit, and you suck at burning zombies. You are the worst zombie burner there has ever been and ever will be. Jesus Christ, you suck. You can't burn anything. Lucky there, man. If he didn't go down, I would have been dead. Reloading like an idiot. God fucking damn it, Chris. Uh, Fuck you, then. These zombies, they don't want to burn. I mean, who does, really? Nobody wants to burn. But it's getting on my fucking nerves with these motherfucking zombies. I just won't fuck off. Off, you know.
When burning them becomes so troublesome, I say fuck it, you know? Only burn ones if they're really absolute necessary. Like the dickheads in the corridors, but... Didn't burn the other two dickheads in the corridor, but... Uh, <sighs> what can you really do? The game craps all over you if you try to progress. This thing gives us a first aid spray in here, I guess. I might as well use it. It's a bit early to use such a thing, but fuck it. I ain't got much choice. I haven't got much say in all this. Chris, you suck. Perhaps it's because they've got more endurance. Well, they always freaking never seem to freaking go down, really, didn't they? Bloody zombies. Assholes, oh, a lot of them. Ah, of course, I keep forgetting that. Well, I only forgot it the one time, I forgot it the second time. That's how many times I forgot. Okay, you got headshotted. You're down for good now. We're even now. Just take this. Chris's playthrough so far has been the opposite of Jill. No conserving of ammunition because there are just too many freaking zombies. If I had to dodge them every time, I would freaking get game over all the goddamn time. And he also doesn't have nearly as many ring that ink ribbons I hear as well, so that's double the suck right there, isn't it? It's like if you thought it was bad as enough as it was, well just you wait, man. It's nothing unusual either. You just burn it. Yes. Okay, maybe I just yeah, you gotta put it down first. Hand it over. It's a map. So that's that. I wouldn't have given less herbs and shit as well. This is gonna be insanely difficult. Apparently it's the same with Jill, you have the same kind of like, for like that hallway that has two zombies. I'm not sure, I think it was only one on easy mode, but it's two in normal mode for uh, both characters. But still, I think I heard that uh, Chris gets more zombies than Jill does. He also gets more ammo apparently as well, but... I don't know. He'd need it, really, wouldn't he? Let's pick up the shit collar. Well, the, uh, whistle. The demonic dog hellhound. Spencer, my god, what on earth did you do to that dog? I mean, seriously. And you're just like... I thought you were the type of Let's Player that always reads everything. Well, I already read these things in Jill's playthrough. There doesn't seem to be much difference so far. Your journal, it's all blank. Except for this one. But it's not a journal. It's just going on about herbs. Wasn't there some ammunition around here somewhere? Doesn't look like it. Or maybe... Yeah, it's right there. Gotta need all the shitty ammo in this so we can get.
Right, there's another dickhead in this car at all. Ooh, that's the thing, you can't see where where he is, so like, you just gotta like, put your hands in, uh, fate, and just like, uh, hope that you don't run into the bastard. Okay, dokey, that leads us where exactly? Oh, it was the shitty one on the left. Yeah, shitty one on the left. Even knowing what to do does not guarantee success. That actually sounds like uh, life advice or like a kind of uh, meaningful quote, doesn't it? It's like, just because you know what to do doesn't mean that you will succeed. It's like, you could like, for example, in music, you could know, you know, music theory, but it doesn't mean that you could, you know, play pretty much any musical instrument just because you know music theory. Just because you know does not mean that you can. You must, uh, uh, what's the word I'm going by there? You must, uh, practice and shit. Oh hey boy. Welcome to hell, ladies and gentlemen. Hellhounds to your left will be appearing shortly to devour your flesh. Be warned. Fuck my arms! My arm! My arm! Fuck! Fuck it. Run away! Yeah, I just got in. Get the fuck out. I'll do it some other time. I prefer to have the shotgun when dealing with those fuckers, you know? I'm pretty sure the shotgun uh, replacement is downstairs, wasn't it? I know you're over there. No, you aren't. You're somewhere. I know you're there. You don't have me fooled one bit, zombie. Oh, he's on the other side. Oh. Run upstairs! God damn it, Chris, just fucking light the bastards. If people invite you over for a barbecue, you would be the worst fucking barbecue chef ever. The worst. You can't even light a simple, simple fucking zombie on fire. You suck at this. Light this marshmallow motherfucker. <laughs> Didn't really need to even do that, really, did I? I just felt that he was an asshole. I mean, I could have easily advised him, but he would have still been there all these bloody times, and I would have been annoyed by him. Well used beds. 
probably ink ribbons over here, isn't there? Shop is full of pills, looks as you've never seen many of them change colors. I haven't really got anything yet, have I? Well, no ink ribbons. Where are my ink ribbons? You usually supply ink ribbons in these type of places. What use a typewriter without an ink ribbon? Locked? Are you fucking kidding me? I gotta find all one of those stupid lock things. That sucks, man. That's bullshit, Chris. Can't get the shotgun now, Chris. Are you happy? Are you satisfied? How long can you stay in the heat? This sucks. This sucks. Pretty sure there's a zombie over here, isn't there? Boop doop boop. Back away. Back away. Run away. Run away. Let's deal with hellhounds instead. I'd rather go about that than deal with you, sir. And that is quite a considerable insult to you, sir. But I hate these bastards. Come on, come all, come on out, and I'll shoot you. Fucking no, I can't, because God damn, my fucking arm! Oh, oh, it's killing me. Oh, he drop kicked me. No, I fucking hate these mutts so much. Oh, I fucking loathe them! I can't get the shotgun yet! Stupid fucking locks! Ugh. They don't do as much damage, so I'm starting to see how that works with Chris, I guess. Still doesn't really, you know, negate the fact that these dogs are vicious fuckers, and I hate them. God damn it! I hate this game! I'm dead! I'm so dead! Ah! Oh, I hate this game sometimes! The dogs are the worst! You can't aim very well in this game. The freaking controls are deliberately done so that they're pretty much shit. Oh, I love you so much, game, when you do this shit. Love you so much, I fucking hate it. How much shit do I have to redo? I'm pretty sure pretty much every one of those bastard zombies I burnt. I gotta redo the whole fucking thing. I'm honestly tempted to, you know, just play Final Fantasy X, Wind Waker, and Pokemon XD, Gale Doctors again, because this game... It's starting to get on my nerves, not gonna lie. I'm gonna use the freaking key this time on that other door, cause fuck it, it's just bullshit. It's the worst, man, it's the worst. I hate it so fucking much. Oh, it pisses me off. It pisses me off so much. So, God. 
damn much. Oh, hate it. Hate it so, so very much. I mean, I take Silent Hill controls over this shit. This is ridiculous. Your corpse has not been burned, sir. I'm afraid that is a violation of this game. You are to be burnt. Cremated, if you will. All right, fuckers. Who's in line for us to die? How about you? God damn it, Chris! You have got the worst aim! And you're supposed to be a marksman? I call bullshit. The internet's a lie. It's all a f fucking sod. It's bullshit. Chris can't do much better than Jelly sucks. You can take a few more hits from a hellhound, but a zombie, a zombie's gonna make quick work of this idiot. I hate these motherfucking zombies so much. Oh, I hate them. Main hellhounds are bad enough, and now the zombies are giving me way too much trouble. And it's pissing me off so much. So much that I have to keep pointing out that it's pissing me off. I would play it on easy mode, like I apparently did with Jill, but. I want to unlock the trophy as well, you know. Which would probably have been easier to do with Jill than with Chris, because at least with Jill you got Barry to protect your ass sometimes, you know. With Chris, ain't nobody guys back. I suppose this Rebecca chick up here to... As I was saying, suppose this was Rebecca chick over here probably uh, saves his ass sometimes, I don't know, but we haven't run into her yet. Just, just walk on your head. If Just and 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 er er er. Then I yeah he's on the stairs. At least I think he's still there. Burn baby burn disco inferno. Not even gonna bother with you, sir, because you are a dick. Oh, my legs are killing me, man. Always sitting like this awkwardly because I don't want to freaking, you know, accidentally freaking so much as slightly move the capture card. You know, the USB 4 in would be like, oh, it's disconnected again. No, oh, no. Um, there was. Oh, wait, I think it was on the other side. Somewhere in this room, wasn't it? I distinctly remember it. It's over here. Here we go, we're gonna need all the ammunition we can get for this terrible weapon that is more than, uh, often than not, a piece of shit. 
I mean, honestly, I feel that if he just picked up a baseball bat, he'd have better luck with these zombies than with this puny little handgun. Or a sword. Maybe a freaking katana. That would be nice. Better than a knife, at least, probably. But no. I remember doing that exact same breaking random singing way back in my Final Fantasy 9 LP. It's like, ra da 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 I don't know why. But whatever. Don't use the key on that stupid door leading that side. You can probably get anywhere inside, I don't bloody know. What I do know is, I'm not using it on that door. I'm using it on a different door. I'm coming upstairs and I'm going to do something about Oh, something. Oh, that was beautiful. It's beautiful when that happens. It doesn't happen often, but... I mean, it's happened twice in this part, but that doesn't mean it happens often. Screw that. We're going down here to get that... Oh, wait. Wow, we'll be taking up inventory space by doing that, so we can technically pick it up anyway. I mean, what the hell's with these old keys, frickin' Chris? The Pokeball quality? Only one use? I've also heard about these. Flash grenades. He has freaking grenades instead of the taser for defense items. There's some more kerosene here, but I think I'm full, right? No. Nope. I guess I'll take some more. Can't pick it up. Hmm, how? What a shame. What a drag. Let's, uh, what am I doing again? Uh, no idea what I came in here for. I mean, I've got, like, got the stuff I need. Actually, no, as incorrect, I need at least one clear spot just to freaking obtain the shitty shotgun. So I'm gonna have to put something in storage. All because old Chris here, he sucks at inventory space. Despite the fact he's got all those bloody pockets. I mean, how would he fit, like, say a shotgun in one of those pockets? But he could say the same about Jill. She didn't exactly have, like, much different than Chris, you know? But she had more inventory space, so what's up with that? Makes no sense. Question, of course, now is where the fuck do I get another old key so I can open that blasted door? Hi, zombie. Do, 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 do. Have I pushed that thing over? Yeah, I pushed it over already. Now, how did I get to uh, the room with the shotgun anyway? I forget.
I think it was that room up there, so it was through a Hellhound Corridor. The hounds have yet to appear in Hellhound Corridor, but they are waiting. They are certainly waiting. And you will wait until next time, because I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.